Hi everybody, welcome to the Dice Matrix. My name is Eric Tarver. Thank you always for watching. I appreciate your kindness. I know I'm just a small homebrew channel. Homebrew? Homebrew. Homebrew channel. Trying to get uh, get things going here just for my recent love of modern board gaming. Um, I wanted to tell you, uh, have a little talk about what I'm going to be doing in some upcoming videos. I will still mix in some other ones, but uh, there's a company out there called White Wizard, and they make some pretty good little games. Uh, Star Realms, Hero Realms. Um, they also have, I think, a digital game called Cthulhu Realms and uh, a game called Epic. Now, these games, um, I'm going to talk about how I feel and what they do in more detail. I'm going to make separate videos for each little one showing you kind of like the mechanics of the game, how it works, um, describe some of the cards, you know, show you the box, that sort of thing, and uh, tell you my overall thoughts on it, which shouldn't be a surprise at this point, but they're they're fun. You know, I, I started off with mainly the Star Realms, and I really was like, wow, this is pretty good. You know, it's kind of a kickoff of a Dominion. The Star Realms is a deck building game where your hand increases as you go by, and you're uh, acquiring trade or money through these cards to get better cards, which are ships that deal damage to your opponent. It's pretty straightforward, you know, you're collecting, uh, you know, cards to build your deck to get money, to buy more things, to deal more damage, to get ships and bases to protect yourself, and outposts to, to uh, uh, you know, defend and attack your opponents in it. It's, it's, it's really a, a nice, quick, easy to pick up game that you can just take with in your pocket anywhere. That's, that's one of the things I love about it. Um, uh, Hero Realms is, is kind of a step up from that. It's in the medieval world, which I love because I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. And um, they, uh, they have, you know, they kind of carried over some of their icons from the earlier game. But a few of the mechanics are just slightly different uh, as far as their synergy bonuses and stuff. Uh, I think, believe they call them, uh, what's the word for it? My brain is not working today. Um, ally bonuses that's what it is so if you have someone with uh you know a certain thing on their card like they're from the imperium or empire uh, and then they have another card that's from the same thing then that will trigger uh a secondary ability sometimes on some of the cards so that's a that's a great little effect but anyway I'll, I'll go into more detail when i actually do the videos but that's uh they're very similar on those two first games star realms and hero realms but there's quite a bit big difference in it and I'll go into some some more like I said details on that later on now the third game I'm going to cover uh, by some videos later will be uh, uh, epic the card game I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering I'd played that for over 20 years and uh, I just kind of pulled off of it for a while because it kind of become it became convoluted you know uh, to some degree now don't get me wrong I love Magic the Gathering still to this day and I still play uh, occasionally um, with friends recreation recreationally but I just it's just been a little too much through the years I, I just had to take a step back and that's when I started getting into the more of the modern uh, board game stuff and that's when I also discovered White Wizard which had these uh, cool little card games that you can play and um, Epic is going to be very very good I can tell already by looking at all the cards that they're going to be uh, it works somewhat you can tell they're fans of Magic the Gathering because they inquired, you know, some of the mechanics, you know, uh, instead of, uh, they use, have to use other words, instead of tapping, you know, it's like uh, exhausted or whatever, some of their games are prepared and, and um, it's, but it's, it's done very well. It's clean. The best part about it is it's all in one box and there's not any like mythic rares you have to chase after. You can get the decks and, and you're ready to go. But anyway, um, I just was letting you know what I'm going to be doing on the upcoming videos, and um, I'm going to make separate videos on each one of those games, uh, kind of giving the gist and feel of everything. Um, I want to say thank you for everyone for watching my little small homebrew channel, and um, if you like anything or any of my videos, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. That would mean a great deal. Um, if not, I still love you anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Dice Matrix.